Gemini Singles, welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. Thank you, Gemini Singles, for being so patient with me. I owed this video to you for quite some time. So here it is. What I'm going to do to make up for it is I'm going to do a bonus video for you guys in the middle of the week. Okay, so Gemini Singles. Your overall energy is the two of wands. So there's someone that's not making a decision in the situation. Um, also, please know that these readings can go either way. This could be someone, this could be you acting out the scenario, or it could be someone you know. So, um, and please know that it may be necessary to check your moon and rising signs to see if this resonates with you going right into it because it won't resonate with everyone this is a general reading okay let's get right into it i'm seeing some of you could be dealing with an aquarius i'm seeing pisces right off the bat i'm seeing some of you could be dealing with a water sign actually i see every sign so at this point it could be any and every sign across the zodiac including your own sign that you could be dealing with um, this is a singles reading, so it looks like you're going to get some type of a communication, some type of communication from someone because someone's ready to come out of conflict. You could have been dealing with someone who was manipulative in the past and they've got a message, a truthful message that they want to give you. And the message is that they want to apologize and bring healing to some type of a turbulent situation that happened in the past. There were some disappointments with this person in the past. They could have been manipulative. They could have been very, um, very emotionally off balance. But I'm seeing that this person may have developed some type of maturity because we've got the King of Cups here. King of Cups talks about emotional maturity. And there were some secrets that happened in the past that came out about this person. And this caused some type of an argument or some type of friction, but now this person is ready to lay down these swords. They're ready to um, apologize to you. And this could be an Aquarius that's wanting to come out of conflict with you. Or if not, it could be any sign, like I said before. But you're going to have some communication. You've gained some mental clarity. But yeah, you're feeling disappointed. You or this person that I'm talking about could have felt disappointed because there was some trickery involved. <clears throat> Excuse me, there was some trickery involved in the situation. <clears throat> and now it looks like this person wants to resolve these differences. It could have been your child's other parent. I'm seeing the Queen of Pentacles. It could be the mother or father of your kids. And I feel like an offer is going to, to come forward from this person or you or this person. Because there's someone from your someone that you've dealt with before, someone from your past thinking about you. It has to be someone from your past because they're ready to come out of conflict and apologize. So this isn't a brand new person. This is someone that was manipulative in the past and kept secrets from you. But I'm saying through faith and perseverance, the two of you can actually pull this together and have a Ten of Cups experience. Someone's not over the other one. Someone does not want to take a break from this relationship. <clears throat> yeah, I'm saying that one of you cut the other one out because of whatever secrecy this was about justice card so some of you could either be in court but i'm feeling like maybe this was some type of karmic situation that is coming to an end and the two of you coming back together could be justice you know you're feeling a bit defensive or there was some type of defensive behavior someone felt like they had to stand their ground in the past in this relationship yeah some of you do, do not want did not want the situation to end. So things didn't come to a close because one of you doesn't want to let go of the relationship. And there was some type of a breakup. It could have been a marriage. Maybe this was a divorce that happened in the past, but things became unstable. And this person wants to restore stability to a very emotionally imbalanced situation. And so you're going to have someone come forward to make some type of a solid offer. And this is some type of a goal that this person had. So um, someone could be moving, changing locations to be with this person. Because I'm seeing that this person could actually be at a distance from you. And you're feeling a bit, you know, iffy about things. Um, 
there's some nervousness about moving forward. So you've got all of these defenses around you, like you've built walls around you, but one of you is still hanging on to this relationship. But being a bit watchful, a bit nervous, a bit leery about things because I'm feeling like this person doesn't know where they stand with you. Yeah, and this was due to some type of deception in the past. Some of you could have been dealing with a Capricorn. I'm also seeing Leo. Some of you could have been dealing with a Leo, but one of you is not having the strength to move forward because you're feeling a bit nervous about how to approach the situation. And someone wants justice. Someone wants fairness. Maybe someone felt that they were being treated unfairly in the past. Or like I said before, maybe there was some type of, div some type of divorce. Definitely someone wants a second chance in this situation. I'm getting strong Leo energy here. I'm even seeing Taurus. Um, you're feeling optimistic about this. Where in the past, this person was non-committal. They didn't want to make a commitment, but I'm seeing that you've got a new opportunity coming through with this same person. Like you guys are going to start over and um, make something beautiful out of this situation. And in the past, there was arrogance. But I'm feeling that you are going to have some type of gratitude in this situation. Maybe you're grateful to have linked up with this person again that walked away, but you do have someone from your past returning. In the past, someone was not willing or ready to make a decision, but I'm seeing a decision has been made. Someone may have not have had the strength to move forward to make that decision, but they, they, they're regaining their strength to be able to do it. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but someone has done some soul searching and they're ready to start over with you. This person may have had options in the past, but now they've made they've narrowed down, down their options and they've made a choice about you or vice versa. This person is ready to come forward and ask for forgiveness. This person is now ready to come forward and ask for an apology for what they did in the past. Gemini singles. So you're going to get some type of a message from this person. The two of you will have dialogue. You will communicate. And if it is your choice to be able to move on with this person, then I'm seeing that the outcome will be positive. You may have a family with this person already. Some of you do. Some of you already have a family with this person. And you're looking to reconcile. And in the past, it looks like this person... Like I said before, they had options and maybe this person wasn't making a decision because they liked being able to have multiple people at their beck and call. There's, there was definitely some deception in the past. Definitely someone's been thinking about you or you've been thinking about them, but feeling in limbo and not making an, any action. Yeah, this was an emotional draining situation. I'm so, also saying that someone could have been a bit arrogant bit vain in the past and not willing to work together to do what it takes to restore this relationship but I'm definitely seeing that there can be a victory for some of you if you decide to move forward and give this person a second chance I'm seeing that someone is coming back and asking for a second chance and please know that by me saying this this isn't me suggesting that you must move forward into this I'm just saying that for some of you this is actually going to take place in your life. Someone from your past that you could possibly have a family with. I'm saying some of you could have a family with this person. Some of you may not. You may just want a family type of situation. But you have an opportunity. Whether you take that opportunity or not is entirely up to you. I'm not suggesting that you do things or not do things. I'm just giving you a forecast of what could possibly come into your life in the near future. And it doesn't have to take place this week. Um, this could play out for even six months into the future. And, and for some of you, this may have actually already played out. So I'm going to go ahead and pull an advice card for you. Gemini singles. What advice do you have, Holy Spirit, for the Gemini singles in this situation? What advice do you have for the Gemini singles? Bear with me, y'all. I'm just shuffling and I've got a card that came out. This is beautiful. It says forgiveness. Figure out where to put it. I'll put it right here in the center. No, I'll put it off to the side so you can still see the cards. 
So forgiveness is going right here. Forgiveness. So I'm going to read your message directly from the book. Okay, bear with me. I'm flipping the pages. Here it is, forgiveness. Forgiveness can work miracles. When you release the past, a weight is lifted from your shoulders and a sense of freedom washes over you. Ask your angels to help you let go of sadness or pain caused by others so that you can be free. This card can also refer to a need for self-forgiveness. It's time to let go of any guilt you are holding on to regarding your past mistakes you have made. Give yourself credit for having tried your best, even if the results weren't what you ha would have liked. Focus on the changes you've made since then, and since then that ha that you, I'm sorry. Focus on the changes you've made since then that have made you a better person. All right, so Gemini singles, I hope that brings clarity to the situation for you guys. It looks like there is a need for forgiveness in the situation, if you choose to. And I'm seeing that with faith and perseverance, the two of you will be very grateful that um, you were able to resolve your past differences. Because I'm seeing that it could turn out very good for the two of you. I've got the Ten of Cups here. So that's the ultimate beautiful card to be able to get in a love reading. So Gemini, I wish you, Gemini Singles, I wish you the absolute best. And please look forward to your, um, or not look forward to, but look for your, um, weekly bonus reading that I will do midweek for you as an apology for taking so long to get this video out. I apologize. I've been trying to work on all of these personal readings that have come in and I'm trying to get, I'm trying to catch up with those, but I want to make sure that you guys get your videos too. Um, so I'm just working a lot right now, but I will upload your video midweek. I wish you guys the absolute best. Bye for now.